and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with some bonus parts of Let's Play Bastion. I am joined as always by the kid. We got Rux and Zia with us. We also have the Pecker, Squirt, and the Ankle Gator with us. We don't have uh, the Pith Bull with us though. I, I kind of missed the plush Pith on this, this go around. But I bought it later but the, it, it still doesn't count. I still don't get the Pith. Anyway, I have been doing uh, New Game Plus for a little bit here. Uh, I actually had to go through it twice, and I have to go through it again. So I have mastered every weapon. I'll go over how I set those up um, when I go over the Proving Grounds um, for, for each of those. Uh, however, I have changed things a bit. I, I now like the Pike now that it's fully upgraded. I like that more than the Machete. Uh, so let's take a look at that. I pretty much go all the way down here. Uh, critical hit chance over faster throw reload, uh, critical hit damage over causing knockback, uh, faster thrust attacks over stunning, uh, more damage over faster throw reload. Oh, who's doing that? And attacks ignore armor. This is this is vitally important, I think, in order, if you want the perfect build or anything close to it. One spear per throw. That sucks. And then I'm also sticking with the scrap mat, scrap musket, if I could say it right. Uh, I think I did do this one on screen, uh, fully upgraded. But in case I didn't, I go for spread over range the first time, then damage over knockback. Um, then I go for reduced penalty to long range damage over faster reload, more damage over more knockback, and fire two shots at once over crippling foes. Now, you might s notice that I actually have more than enough to go around. I've actually gone through this twice. Uh, the main reason for that is because I keep on trying to show off the proving grounds. However, if you'll notice here, I have already completed them. All of them. Including this one. And this is the only one that's really giving me trouble here. This is the only one that doesn't record. So, I will be back to finish the proving grounds later. I, I do have to go through the game again, it looks like, in order to get that done. However, there are still a few things that I can do here. First things first, I want to look at the shrine. Uh, I did unlock all of the gods and goddesses here, although not all of them I, I use, to be honest with you. Um, and the, basically, my setup usually for when I'm uh, trying to get fragments, even though I don't need fragments anymore by a long shot. I think I have 30-something thousand fragments now. Just ridiculous amount. And I have nothing to do, nothing to use them for. I go for Hensa. Hensa. Uh, Yudrig. Um, Messia. Lamaine. Pith. Pith. Apparently we wanted to say it at the same time. That's my basic setup for when I'm going grinding. It's not too difficult, and you get a 35% increase. But let's go over these one by one. We got Hensa, uh, which uh, makes it so enemies will hit you harder. That ups it by 10%. We got a Kobe. A Kobe. Yeah, he'll say some of these because I haven't been using them. Uh, he'll pretty much drop a bomb after you kill him. I am not a fan of this one. Not in the slightest. This is the one that killed me. And it probably will kill me if I turn it on again. Uh, Lemain uh, pretty much slows you whenever you um, come in contact with them. Or sorry, whenever they hit you, uh, it slows you. Uh, then Pith, of course, we saw. They hit harder, they go faster. Well, no, they just move faster. Uh, Javel? Javel. There we go. Uh, foes are well, they get a bonus to defense. I don't like using that one because it, it is quite a substantial increase into their defense. Just slows everything down. Uh, Udrig, uh, foe shall cause harm on physical t contact. That's not too bad for me. So that also means that when they touch you, uh, since you're, they're hurting you, and if you have this on, then it also slows you when they touch you. Uh, Rothis. Rothis. If you wanted to turn this on for the who knows where grinding, that is perfectly fine. I mean, this is this is just a free 10% because in who knows where, they don't drop health tonics or black tonics anyway, so feel free to turn that one on. I, I just wanted to be a little bit safe and not, not turn that one on. Messia! Uh, foes regenerate from any injury. That really is a slow regen, so feel free to turn that on. That gives you 5%, as you can see. Uh, usually the 5 ones are something that you can feel free to turn on. Then we got I don't even know how to say that. Olic. Olic. I would not have gone with that. Uh, 
foes shall sometimes turn to air, unable to be hit. That's just that's just troll up and down. I want nothing to do with that. And then this last one, Garmouth. Garmouth. There we go. Foes shall deflect attacks on a whim. That's definitely not something I want. And these last two, of course, give ten because they are damn tough. In terms of the distillery, I got Squirt Cider, Bastion Bourbon. I'll try to go through these a little bit slowly so you can see what they do, but most of this is how I had it set up before. Uh, Lunkhead Liqueur, Mender Mead, Cinderbrick Stout, Bull Brandy, Stab Synth, Graver Gimlet, Doomshine, instead of moonshine. That's good, because it even looks like it. Whatever. Actually, all the bottles look like it. You know, that looks like absinthe. That looks like a brandy bottle. That looks like a goblet or anything. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. And then champagne in the champagne bottle. It is, uh, yeah, this one I like a lot, to be honest with you, because I hardly ever die. So plus 25% damage is a huge, huge increase for me. As if, well, you saw last time I... Uh, cleared all the memorials in the regular playthrough, the normal playthrough. Um, do I have... Yeah, I have the, gra the grenades on. We'll go over the abilities later. Lost and found. I have purchased everything. As you see there, 32,817 spare shards. And I'm going to get more because <laughs> I have to go through again. Uh, there are two. Count them two. Who knows where little dungeon areas that I did not go through before. This one uh, probably spawned in my normal playthrough, but I just didn't see it spawn there. Uh, the bed roll. Uh, we went into the pipe. We went into the stock pot. Uh, history books, however. History books is only unlocked in New Game Plus. I'm not exactly sure when it spawns. Um, I was scared this time that it wasn't going to spawn. It spawned later than what the wiki said it was supposed to. That's for sure. Uh, so this is what we're going to do today. Let's head to who knows where. Uh, bedroll. Uh, this is this is supposed to spawn right uh, after, right before the the final stretch. I think the last two uh, levels. Right before then. Let's go ahead and go in there. It's time for me to take a nap. It's hard to sleep easy these days. What with everything that's happened. I'm scared. This is going to be pretty tough. Zolf, very soon the kid's going to have to face that man again. For the last time. Very soon. I think we all know what happens there. Both things! It's like Schrodinger's Zolf. Either he's dead, or I take him along. Alright, what do we got? What are you going to get me this time? What kind of story are we going to hear? Um, I'm ready. Oh, we got Ura. Uh, yeah, as you'll see, the pike, it does damage so fast with that reach, and I, I don't need to hit them very often. This is this is why I'm a big fan of it. Worst day is Ulf's life. There in the hanging gardens, he aimed to throw it all away. And then more of these guys. I already forgot their names. Uh, rattle tails? Something like that. I am not good with the names. It wasn't the first time Zolf had nothing to lose. He was born to a simple Ura couple who didn't last long before Plague took him. Oh shit, didn't see you up there. Oh, could I counter kill? Yes, but am I going to? Rarely. No, I'd rather stab things. He grew up hungry in the tunnels of the Tazel Terminals, so he took the stealing from a Ceylonian missionary living there. Oh, I hate those things. Oh, I hate these. You can try to roll past them. Watch this. It'll curve all the way around you. That, I always found that crazy, how that, how that worked. He once got sloppy with his thieving hands. The missionary caught him, but didn't rat him out. Instead, he offered to take him in. Uh, get over here. No. Oh, these are like the upgrade guys. That missionary raised Zolf like a gentleman, like it was his own son. Taught him theology, history, and mercy. I gotta be honest, this, uh, this is not very tough at all. I was expecting a lot tougher. We got like mini rattletails here. Pop out so I can kill you. Come on, get out of there. Die. 
I'm not even using my musket very often here. Yeah, there we go. But especially for these guys. You just gotta wait for they pop out and then you can poke them to death. When the missionary passed away, Zolf promised to continue his work to bring about a lasting peace between the Ura and Ceylandia. How'd that work out? Oh, damn. You hit me. Yeah. Oh, he recovered from that real damn fast. There we go. Zolf started teaching the missionaries wisdom to any Ura who would listen. And listen, they did. I don't even know why I'm getting the the fragments anymore or the experience but we are definitely showing this off for a reason it's mostly for story reasons to be honest with you this is all stuff that is in the era part of the map I don't know if we're actually in their country when we go to that side of the map but that is what these enemies are he advocated tolerance and argued that the era should atone for the war he believed the city had much to teach his people they, they do, except, you know, you guys could teach us the way of the samurai. Uras are pretty sweet, I must admit. Damn it. There we go. Oh. However, Zoe felt he could only do so much in the Tazzle Terminals. He needed Ceylandia to know the Ura had changed. How did they change? Hey, what are you doing? Die. Over here and die. Damn Railtails hiding from me. He decided to do what the missionary did many years before. He left the city of his youth to brave a savage land. Now, I should mention that you get achievements, uh, Steam achievements, nothing in game, uh, for beating these places with a certain amount of shrines on. If you beat them with five, which is what my standard uh, grinding setup was, um, then you get an achievement, and if you do it with all ten, then you get a uh, steam achievement. And of course, just by completing all four of them, you get another the one. Was hard, but he knew how to fend for himself. And then at last, Zolf saw the rippling walls on the horizon. Oh, he's almost made it to the promised land of where I was sleeping. Hey, nope. There we go. He endeared himself to city folk straight away, and in turn he fell in love with the city and its people. One in particular. Zia, I'm going. With, I'm gonna go with Zia. What do I? Mean? Probably not. They said that they met him for the first time. Damn, this is a lot of shit going on at once. All right, let's start using the musket. Spread damage. Save me. Oh, there's a guy up here. Did not see you. Graver Gimlet. It does help. I feel like it does, but I don't know if it actually is. This young lady was fascinated by the Ura, but she never met anyone like Zolf. She told him she knew all the city's best kept secrets. What secrets? Get over here. Counter. Dead. <laughs> the Hanging Gardens was their favorite spot. It was there that Zolf clasped her hands and proposed in proper Ceylandian style. How, how's that done? Oh shit, this guy again. Not a fan of that guy. Oh, he's huge! One more. There we go. He celebrated with his friends long into the night. Joy and revelry like he'd never seen. Too bad he couldn't remember it all. What, you get drunk or something? What the hell's going on with you, Zolf? How is this guy not dead? Why are these guys taking so long? There we go, two hits. And then that, yeah, there we go. He woke up alone underground inside the Ura Ceylandian War Memorial, built like an Ura den. But something was wrong. What? Oh shit, you got a lot going on here. Luckily, Scrap Musket takes care of everything. Just gotta kill the spawners. Really. We can worry about these little guys. Yeah, little guys. Hey, big guy. Just an easier target for me. Even though these guys are pretty easy to kill. Damn it, another spawner. What the hell are you doing to me? I just wanted to learn about Zulf. There we go. He emerged from that hole in the ground 
into a waking nightmare. Everything that wasn't gone was twisted upside down. Oh, we got one of the big guys. Yeah, ignore armor. I don't care if your eyes shut. That's what ignore armor does for me. <laughs> Makes these guys very easy. They can't let them sneak up on you. But after that, it's pretty pretty simple. <laughs> Once you're fully leveled up, this is this is ridiculous. But the other one, I believe, is more of a challenge for for new game plus. If you're the world was frozen, air thick with ash. What few faces he saw on the street stared back at him with gray and vacant eyes. I believe the next one, uh, the history books one, is is more for. You know, the, the, the perfect build type thing. Damn it! No! Hit that one. Get over here and hit that one. Stab, stab. God, I hate these guys. And I'm not patient, he like, at all. to be asleep inside her home. But when he reached out to her, she joined with all the ashes in the sky. Oh, Calamity got her. That is not good. The Calamity got his wife. I got plenty of potions. What's with these upgrade guys? Ah! I poisoned them. Crazy. What's next? Yeah, I have a feeling that based on how slowly these things are spawning, that er, are spawning, that uh, I'm not supposed to be killing them this fast. <laughs> there we and go. So Zolf returned the way he proposed in the hanging gardens. And there he stood, as if the gods would answer him. So there you go, there's Zulf's history. His wife got lost in the calamity. But that, that, that doesn't sound good at all. The kid's gonna be okay. As for that man, who knows? Okay, so that is now done.